a station you might like. Hello, James. Okay, starting workout now. Your team meeting starts in 15 minutes. You have new emails. What do you want to do now? Moro is a human-sized assistant robot developed by Eweibot Technology. It is designed for academic research and education, business activities, as well as domestic assistance. Moro is 120 cm in height and 35 kg in weight, with a base of 40 cm in diameter. Moro's body is covered with a flame-retardant ABS case. It supports Wi-Fi communication. Its battery lasts for 8 hours with normal usage. Auto recharging feature is coming in the near future. Moro comes with powerful capabilities for grasping and handling objects. It is equipped with two six joint arms with a 70 cm span for each. Under the support of our motion algorithm, the two adaptive grippers can easily grasp a variety of objects. From a bottle of water to a piece of tissue paper. The shoulder of Moro can move up and down, which further expands the workspace. With a combination of Intel RealSense camera and a two-dove head, Moro has a 360-degree field of view with no blind spots. Hello, Moro. Hello. With real-time voice control, users could interact with Moro in natural language.
Moro can navigate both indoor and outdoor environments with its differential drive base and hybrid sensors. Moro is powered by our unique robotic operating system, EWAOS. The system is specifically designed for stability and extensibility to enable high performance. EWAOS uses Linux kernel, provides a list of commonly used robotic functions. It also supports interfacing with robot operating system, or ROS. Inside Moro, there is a high performance Intel CPU and a powerful NVIDIA GPU which supports Moro's cutting-edge algorithms for motion planning and control, SLAM, face recognition, object detection, voice detection, etc. Combining powerful ARMS, state-of-the-art algorithms and E-Way OS, Moro will help robot developers, researchers and educators by serving as a great platform for robotics research and education in fields such as algorithms and human-robot interaction. Working together with collaborators, we also expect a variety of roles for Moro in business activities. As a great partner, Moro will give you a hand in work, study and daily lives in the near future. Hello, my name is Pico. I'm an intelligent desktop robotic assistant. I can do many things. I can do voice control and interaction. I can play movies through my projection system. Here is my all-time favorite. I've been told that when my software is upgraded, we'll be able to play interactive games. My central computer runs on a quad-core ARM Cortex-853 processing unit. This gives me really fast response time and multitasking capabilities. I can understand and respond to your voice commands. I can move independently around your desktop or countertop, which is totally awesome. My battery life is estimated to be about 6 hours. But if you're watching an exciting movie, my battery life will not be as long. But no worries, just plug me in and I'm good to go. The robot is being loaded with uh, the parcel uh, and it drives out from a hub. It is moving on the pavement with pedestrian speeds uh, and it is covering the last few miles of the delivery until your house, until your doorstep. It is designed to be 99% self-driving. Uh, so the robot is constantly connected to the internet and uh, there are operators who are ready to take over control of the robot in difficult situations. Inside the robot are nine cameras, uh, low resolution cameras that are not, not uh, really expensive at all uh, and, uh, and a lot of uh, mobile phone technology, mobile phone sensors, mobile phone processing units. So there are speakers and microphones inside the robot. So uh, if uh, somebody bothers the robot, the operator can actually, actually shout that, that, hey, what are you doing? Uh, and if, if somebody, somebody tries to steal something, the operator can actually yell, the police is coming in five minutes. We know your location, you're being filmed as well. Yeah, there it, is. So that's really it started off as a treasure hunt. Sifting through a magazine from the 1970s, Eric Stackpole pointed out an article to David Lang. There was the story that there was a robbery and gold was thrown to the bottom of this underwater cave and all these treasure hunters and scuba divers, no one had been able to get to the bottom. And so Eric had this big idea that he was going to build an underwater robot to go explore. And that is how the duo got into developing a robot to explore to a depth of 100 meters underwater. Called Trident, it's basically a waterproof smartphone with thrusters. It sends a video signal as well as temperature, depth, and directional information to the surface in real time via a tether connected to a wireless buoy. That buoy is connected to the internet, allowing the robot to be controlled from afar. 
To enhance the experience of exploring underwater, the team developed software that allows users to immerse themselves into an underwater environment via a virtual reality headset. While the robot is designed for anyone to use, Lang says it's proving popular with the science community as a low-cost research tool. Ocean science and exploration is really tragically underfunded, and there's all sorts of people who are kind of stuck in this postdocalypse who are trying to get their research done with very limited budgets. And so this tool has become great for them. And while their robot could give researchers insights on how to better protect the oceans, Lang says it won't ultimately matter unless we all grasp the importance and fragility of our underwater ecosystem. The most important thing, the first thing, is we have to get people to care. And I think the way to do that is to allow them to engage, it's to give them the tools to actually explore themselves and to feel some sense of ownership in the process. Lang and Stackpole haven't had any luck tracking down their underwater gold yet, but say their new mission to open up the oceans to a curious public is worth more than any treasure they can imagine.